Hello, everybody. Welcome to Poly Games. I am your host, Joseph. And before we even start, before you guys start yelling, um, yes, this is Destiny on the PlayStation 4. Right now, my Xbox, my Xbox One is updating, um, and I am just preparing it for Halo 5 to come out. As you guys may know, Halo is a huge game near and dear to my heart. It is the reason why I am such a big gamer today. As a kid, like 11 or 12, it showed me that games could be more than just fun. That games could be beautiful and games could have storytelling. Stories that grip you and just show you characters that you can somehow relate to and care for. Um, I remember painting my stormtroopers green and pretending they were the Master Chief. That's how much this game affects me. That's why I bought an Xbox One for Gears and Halo and Scalebound. Hopefully that game's... Um, with that being said, let's get right into it. Today I'm talking about the best of Halos and the worst of Halos. And I'm going to start from the bottom of the barrel, the shitty halos, <laughs> to get to the great ones. And with that being said, um, I'm including everything that has to do with the Master Chief. We're not going to talk about Halo Wars, because it's, it's definitely its own game. Uh, and we're not going to talk about the mobile games. And I'm only going to bring up the Master Chief Collection as the worst Halo, because that thing, that abomination... Um, is, has to be talked about. It's horrible. <laughs> Guys, it's, it is awful. God, it just takes up hard drive space. That, that is horrible. It's, only get that game if it comes with your system. Uh, that's not, well, all I have to say about that. And let's get to the lowest on the totem pole next to that, and that's ODST. ODST... Can't tell you anything other than Destiny was, you know, rumored or there was like a little homage to Destiny on a poster and Nathan Fillion was in it and that it should have been DLC, but they just slapped uh, Halo 3 multiplayer in it and called it its own game and sold it for 60 bucks. Yay! Fuck that game. It was not that great. Um, with that being said, let's go on to the next one on the list and that is Halo 4. I love Halo 4. It brought more personality to the Master Chief other than just being a, you know, alien killing machine. And it gave that relationship, strengthened it really, of Katana and John's relationship. Um, Katana is just, whoever voices her, uh, she did just such an amazing job and um, really just stunning and touching. And I'm getting kind of emotional <laughs> talking about it. Just never make a promise to a girl you can't keep, okay? Uh, with that being said, though, the multiplayer was awful. I did not like it. Um, there was just something about it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Just not a fan of it. Also, I'm never good at Halo multiplayer, but I love it either way. And um, that multiplayer, I don't know. It was just not that great. Kind of lost. It, it kind of, to me, felt more like a Call of Duty game than a Halo game. That's why I'm kind of worried about guardians but anyway with that being said let's move on to the next and that is halo 2 love halo 2 multiplayer probably the peak in the series um and the story was fantastic as well i didn't mind playing the arbiter um but if you just told me guys that i was gonna play like the arbiter for like literally half the game please don't fucking metal gear solid me and make like I'm gonna play the chief and then just give me this alien guy, please. God. But other than that, I thought it was great. Um, and like I said, the multiplayer was so much fun. I remember playing it with my friends. It was the birth of Xbox Live, right? That game really sold Xbox Live to the masses. And you gotta give credit where credit is due. That is phenomenal. Good on you, dude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like it's a person. Good on you, man. The next game in the series I want to talk about is Halo Trace. Um, Halo 3, again. I loved, love, 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 love that game and this story. If you guys were around, if you guys, you know, weren't kids back in the day, or like a late teen like myself, like your old man here, um, you remember the advertising to that game? Remember that? It was just like, it was like, it was like you're like 
they hired like fucking World War II vets and just talked about the Master Chief. And you just saw like this like monument to the Chief. It was like it was beautiful. And um that's why I like to me the Halo Five uh trailer really harkens back to that type of advertising. It was just amazing. You really you really were finishing the fight and you were really closing a chapter on something huge. And um the last level oh god, look at that goosebumps. Uh the last level definitely it definitely hit me right in the loins. Um amazing. Just amazing. And I love the multiplayer to it as well. To me I kind of like it a little bit more than two. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I like it a little bit more than two. Uh, and then let's go on to Halo 1, Combat Evolved, a game that showed me as a young little kid that games could be just more than fun, that games could be beautiful and immersive, and that there could be s rich storytelling and characters that you actually care about in some weird way. And um, as just a kid... I just want to say, like, there was no, like, Halo merchandise like there is now. Like, there's no Master Chief action figures when I was around, at least. Not at my Toys R Us. Um, but I remember painting up my... <laughs> this is so embarrassing to say. I remember painting my uh, Stormtroopers green and pretending they were the Master Chief when I was a kid. Because that's how much I loved him. <laughs> I know, it's weird. I just I had a marker, and I was like, a marker, and I'm like, he's the Chief, man. He's no longer the guy that can't shoot. He's the guy that shoots everything. And um, with that being said, yeah, the multiplayer, the fucking broken pistol. The Halo gave me, like, the first of everything, right? Like, I told you that big old spiel. It also gave me my first ever nerd rage. Um, I remember my brother and my friend Ruben fucking trolling me so hard that I fucking bashed the controller into the TV and cracked the fucking... Top. This is like when the TVs are fat and huge and ugly. And um, I fucking cracked the fucking TV that we bought from CVS for me. <laughs> I remember that so much. Oh, God. Fuck you, Dan, if you're listening. And Ruben. <laughs> God, that was... The memories I have from that game are just... Like, I get chills. Like, I get emotional thinking about that game. I know it's weird. But it's just so many good memories. Like, I also remember when I got really bad poison ivy one time back up in, when I was staying at my uncle's, um, because I threw poison ivy into a fire. Don't ask me why we were starting fires, but I, it, it was like a bonfire, and I threw it in there and hit my face, and I just looked like this. I looked like the pudgy Asian kid and family guy that's trying to kill Chris. Anyway, and I remember um, recovering and just playing Halo with my brother all day. And it was just such a great time, even though I was suffering so much from just such an ugly face. I mean, it makes it makes me now look like, I don't know, like I'm Channing Tatum or someone. Um, with that being said, though, I want to get to my favorite game, and that is Halo Reach. And I know it doesn't have the Chief per se in it, but fuck it, it's my list, and I get to cheat if I want to. Uh, Halo Reach, to me, is my favorite, and I know it's a game in the series you either love it or you hate it. And uh, I loved it. Uh, I was always intrigued with the Reach story ever since the books came out. And I remember trying to read those books, but remember I'm a dumb kid, so it didn't really work the way I wanted it to work. Um, and with that being said, I'm scanning this big thing. What is this? Um, with that being said, though, I, I remember just that story. Reach was so great. And also, I liked the multiplayer, damn it. All right, it was real to me, damn it. And that multiplayer was just so great, so fantastic. It was a story that, as a Halo fan, you just heard of. And now you finally got to play as. And it was Bungie's swan song to the series that they helped make. You know, the Reach was the last thing. And uh, what a way to go out, because it was a great way to go out. And uh, with that being said, look at we're at Destiny now, and it's fucking not nearly as good as Halo. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm. Those are the games that really sh shook me. Halo means so much to me. Uh, it is an important series to me. It's more than just a point-and-click, shoot everything in sight type of game to me. And I want to know what you guys think. What is your favorite Halo game? Of all time. Let me know in the comment section down below. Or if you're like new to Halo and you want to, I don't know, just comment. Just just let me know. Yeah, just You can even say first. I don't even care. Um, 
but if your comment's good, I'll like it, I'll even reply to it, and we can have a conversation about it, because that's what this channel really is about. With that being said, guys, I gotta get to class, and I gotta go to this midnight launch. Have yourselves a great fudging day, and if you can like this, like I said, and subscribe, it means so much to me. 